Today, dear brothers, in our church, we celebrate the most holy name of Jesus. On January 3, 2021, our Pontiff Samuel has established it as a solemn feast. Great feast for our church and for all of Christendom. For every Christian, the most holy name of Jesus represents life, eternal life. The meaning of the name of Jesus is, God saves, therefore only in the name of Jesus there is salvation, not in other names, not in other religions there is salvation, but only in Jesus, only begotten Son of God. And we who belong to the Universal Christian Church of the New Jerusalem, are conscious of all this, because we have brought back the name of Jesus to the center of our life. Because only you Son of God, give life and give it in abundance. And you give us true love, that love of Father of Son and of Holy Spirit, that enters your heart and you can't do without him anymore. Unfortunately in the world today, the name of Jesus is no longer pronounced, as primary good, but has been put on the same level of other names and other alleged religions, numbing people's consciences, making people believe that salvation is not only in Jesus, saying that it is enough to unite all religions in one love and everything can be obtained teaching that eternal life will be given to us as a gift. This is what is proclaimed in another house, where the holy name of Jesus is increasingly pushed aside. Attention is shifted to creation, on the climate, on a human love. It is taught that it is enough to love, regardless of what religion you are, what nature you are. It is implied that the family is also between a man and a man or a woman and a woman, thus creating confusion in people, to make people lose faith, belittling the Christian sacraments, changing the phrases of the Holy Scripture, changing the prayer of the Our Father, belittling the lives of the saints and the martyrs who have preceded us in Christian path, offending Jesus in his passion, saying and teaching other similar things. Yet more than 2,000 years of Christian history, and yet we have more than 2,000 years of Christian history, the Gospels, that speak to us of the life of Jesus, up to his martyrdom. The words read a little while ago in the Gospel of Luke, are the basis of Christianity. God chooses his creature, his maiden, Mary, and sends her the angel Gabriel and tells her, Do not to fear Mary, because you found grace with God, behold you will conceive a son, you will give birth to him, you will call his name, Jesus, 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 he will be great and called Son of the Most High, the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father and he will reign forever on the house of Jacob, his kingdom will have no end. When eight days had passed described for the circumcision, he was given the name Jesus, as he had been called by the angel, before being conceived in the womb of the mother. Today it is tried to pass everything off as past history, now it is tried to modernize everything, changing everything, cancelling the Christian religion, and trying to create a new religion, religion based on an alleged human love, emptied of Jesus. But we dear brothers, like the story of Jesus, we like to pronounce the name of Jesus and it fills our hearts with love. For us of the Universal Christian Church of the New Jerusalem, Jesus is yes the past, but is above all the present, the future, because here, we read the past, in the sacred scriptures, but we live the present and the future, and live it to the fullest. Here in the little cradle of the baby Jesus, we return to live everything, history repeats itself, Jesus chooses his handmaiden, Maria Giuseppina Norcia, she welcomes him in her little heart, forming a cradle to make him grow spiritually to then give him to us. She perfectly embodied the virtues of Mary and Joseph. Here each one of us, who has arrived in front of this cradle, has met love, true love. And from here we have returned to invoke the name of Jesus in our hearts, and in the name of Jesus, our heart has returned to beat, because Jesus is resurrection. Jesus is life, is eternal life. In the book of the Acts of the Apostles, it talks about the healing of a cripple, Peter and John go up to the temple to pray, where at the door of the temple is a man, crippled since birth, who asks for alms to those who enter the temple. That man, seeing Peter and John, asks them for alms. Then Peter together with John, fixes his eyes on him and says, Look towards us. He turns towards them expecting to receive something. But Peter says, I do not have silver or gold, but what I have I will give to you. 
In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, walk. And took him by the right hand raised him, suddenly that man heals and all remain amazed, astonished, for what had happened. This is what happened to all of us when we arrived here, for the first time, not all sick in body, but crippled in soul and heart. In front of this cradle, we find the mother and the son. And we hear in our hearts, son, daughter, in the name of the baby Jesus get up and start walking again, return to live. Here each one of us who has arrived with a sincere heart, has obtained healing of the body, but especially of the soul, because Jesus gives to everyone, but everything depends on each one of us, from the opening of the heart. Here is the example of Maria Giuseppina Norcia, because here Jesus, promised to his maiden, whoever comes in front of the little cradle of the baby Jesus and asks in my name with faith, will not go away empty-handed. Dear brothers, there are so many people in the world, who no longer invoke the name of Jesus, because they have lost faith, they have lost hope, because they are weighed down by so many human norms, and above all, betrayed by those who instead of giving an example do other. Now we have to go to these brothers and sisters, as did Peter and John and tell them, in the name of the baby Jesus, rise up brother, return to walk, to jump, resurrect, brother return to invoke the name of Jesus, because Jesus wants us to live, no longer survive. Come brother, come where Jesus has returned and restores life and restores the dignity of being sons of God. Many are looking for Jesus today, but do not know where to go. Invite everyone to come here to the little cradle of the baby Jesus, no one will leave empty-handed. And if someone tries to stop us, we will do as Peter and John, when the old priests, understanding the miracle of the cripple and envious, that so many astonished people followed them, they forbade them to teach in the name of Jesus. Peter and John said, If it is right, before God, to obey you more than him, judge for yourselves. We cannot keep silent of what we have seen and heard. We, now join these first brothers and go straight, because now as then, we see the face of Jesus and contemplate it and listen to his word, that gives us the whole truth. Here the Father has formed the army of Mary, his team. A team of young people, formed of pure and holy hearts. Where the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, are of the game. And these young players, with pure hearts, trust their coach and their captain, because the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, are one thing. To you brothers of the world, even though I am too old to play, I say, come and participate, cheer for this team, get involved and overwhelmed, by the enthusiasm and love they have for Jesus. And in this way your hearts will become young again and full of love for Jesus. And with the heart play you too. And to you young people in heart and age I say, come, detach yourself from the ugliness of the world, from everything that makes us slaves. Come, join this team, pure and holy. To you, who now listen and want to play and win, I say, come and play the most important game of your life. Come, play and win. Here Jesus will make that last goal that will lead us to win the most important trophy and it will be victory and triumph and eternal life. So be it.